if I tag into the journaling conversation? Tag, yes, do you journal? I do. I, I say this in the special you, you just played a clip from, but I, I find if you write down every few nights what you're saddest about or angriest about, you can start to see your own life as a story. And when you see your own life as a story, sometimes you can zoom out and encourage the main character to make better decisions. Wow. I, I find I was. Um, I love how you just worded that. Also, I, it's probably great material for you. Well, it's, <laughs> All your saddest stuff. It's <laughs> honestly, like it's 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 the basis of like so much of the old man in the pool. It's like yeah. finding the humor in the things that are the hardest. Yeah. Because I feel like that's sort of like I don't know. I think that's the coping mechanism of comedy. Yeah. Which so. is a, it's a good coping mechanism. <laughs> it's yeah. not bad. Yes. So um, I, I heard that you didn't initially want kids, right, in life? I didn't either initially. Yeah, yeah. I was reluctant. <laughs> my, yeah. I wrote, I, my last special was called The New One, and uh, it was all about how I never want to have a child, and all the reasons why, and how I had a child, and how I was right. Uh, <laughs> and, and then ultimately how I was wrong, and that's why, it's emotional, and you know, this, these shows I always try to, I've done about five of these solo shows, and yeah, that's me and my daughter at the Old Man in the Pool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that was at Lincoln Center. Look at you now. I know. I know, then you pop them out, and you're like, wait a minute, you're fantastic. No, yeah. she's completely the best, but I, I always was like, you know, the first, I would say, like, the first year was really hard, and that's when I wrote that yeah. show. It was just like this period where I was like, like I felt as the dad, like I was like nothing. You know, like I was the intern of the family. Like I was, <laughs> I was this pudgy, milkless vice president of the family. Vice Huge president. title, no power, also yeah, yeah. overseas Congress. And I was just like, <laughs> this is so hard. And then, but now she's she's eight and she's the, just the greatest. And I, it's, uh, I mean, it's amazing. You're gonna have another special about when she's a teenager. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I mean, I my brain goes to when she's 16, cause she's eight now, but my brain goes to when she's 16 and she's gonna be like, my dad is garbage, you know what I mean? Yeah. And and it'll happen, like that's natural. That's That's what development is, but like, my, you know, my dad didn't have to deal with that. Like, it was the 80s. No one listened to children. Like, <laughs> like we said it, but he was like, is someone talking? You know what I mean? Here? And that's how I ended up being a comedian. But the, uh... <laughs> Childhood <laughs> but, trauma. Yeah, yeah. For the win. <laughs> but, like, when she's 60, she'll be like, my dad is garbage. And I'm going to be like, she's so right. Uh, how can I amplify her voice? She's so brave. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> she's the great, I mean, she, I'm so lucky. She's the oh great, God. great. You are so funny. Uh, oh, you've covered so many areas <laughs> already. Okay, so wait, your, your Broadway show, you're talking about The Old Man in the Pool. Yes. It, now you made the jump to Netflix. That's it. You were so successful that they, you now are on it's Netflix. That's on amazing. Netflix. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm so excited for two reasons. One is that it, you know, the, the show is about death and mortality, and I set out like four years ago to write this show that's all essentially like jokes and stories about life and death and losing people and how hard that is. And how can we make people laugh from mm -hmm. that? Like, can I do that? And so I had this fear when I did it, like, oh no, like what if this is really hard for people to hear who are going through losing people and all that stuff? And actually it was the opposite. It was yeah. this thing where people would come up to me after shows and be like, I just, you know, lost my dad. I lost someone in my family recently, and that's what I needed to hear right now. Like, I needed to laugh. It was hard for me to laugh for a long time. Yeah. So that the was cool. That, yeah. And then the other side of it is like, and I was going to ask you folks, this is, um, we, I talk about this in the show, we weren't an I love you family growing up. Like, we don't say I love you. Like, in our family, we say, take care, which is not the same. Which is kind uh, of like, which is kind of like what the person says at the grocery store, like yes. when you see them the next time, well, take care. Does it's that... a very grocery yeah. store, bank teller kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's kind of a, a passive aggressive command. Like, it's a I'm little removed. Need, yeah, like I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Take care, you know what I mean? <laughs> and did you, or were you I love you families? Uh, we were, mm. and I mean, and we are. Yeah, oh, that's we, sweet. I, I mean, I, I say it many, many times to my kids a day. Oh, it's, it's no, a no. little annoying. I do to my daughter. Oh, yeah. sure. I, I I'm saying, say I'm, I'm saying with my folks. Yeah, yeah the, they, they, they were. They were that's little. sweet. Yeah. You know, the the thing was, yeah, like it was, it was weird because I, you know, I'd be 
dodging, you know, I'd be dodging smacks across the head one moment, <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then I'd love you would come and say, do you? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, so it was a little, and then you're like, you it work, was a little, you know, for the next 20 uh, years, you work on what the definition of love is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plausible deniability yeah, after bro. that. It's That's incredible. <laughs> That's any kid in the South. Um, so wait, let's do another commercial break. Mike's latest stand-up special is called The Old Man in the Pool. You can see it on Netflix starting November 21st.